This has arrived. I picked up this earlier. It's a Sega Master System with controller for $24.99. And I picked it up from Captains of London. Sega Master System. There are no refunds or exchanges. Sold as faulty. It says parts not working. There you go. It says the console does not turn on and is for parts only. This listing includes controllers and the console. The console itself shows some signs of cosmetic wear. Fair enough. It's a used console after all. Let's open it up and have a look. There's an old control pad. Was there a joystick in here at some point? I have a feeling there might be. There's a, a control stick. It's missing the sticker on the top. Sega Master System Power Base. I've bought two of these. One claims to be working. This one claims not to be working. So I'm going to find the power supply for this one and see if we can get it to turn on. I've bought a game recently from somewhere else. I bought Sonic the Hedgehog. It should go in there. Brilliant. So we can test that. Right, what do I need? I need an AV out, an AC adapter, 9 volts. What does this one do? This one is for a Mega Drive 2, 9 volts. But is it the right polarity for this? Notice there's a trap door. What's this for? Right, let's have a look for a power supply first. I've got the AV connected up. And this is 9 volts centre negative, so that should be okay. I have noticed. There's a rattler. We've been rattling around in here. I'm not going to be able to get it out. But we'll switch it on and we'll see if anything comes up. And on. And nothing. Nothing at all. So we'll switch it off. And, and we'll open it up. The screws are clicking nicely when you first turn them, which implies that it hasn't been opened before. Is that it? That's it. Right, what we're going to find in here. What's rattling? Oh. We might have an answer. That looks like the top of a capacitor. I don't know because there's nothing written on it. Let's see if we can find out where that came from. Or is it the shield? I don't know. <laughs> um, there's something looks like it might have exploded in there. So I've got to take this piece off. Right, there's a fault on this board. First one to spot it gets a heart comment. I think the capacitor has exploded. There you go, one sad capacitor. Um, are these fibres dangerous? I've got no way of knowing. I'll have to see if I can find a, a schematic to find out what, what it is. These two. See if I can heat them up with a bit of soldering iron and get it out. Pop some leaded on. There we go. Right, it's out. 16 volts, 100 microfarads. I think that's right. And it's completely exploded. The actual inner parts blew out. 16, see if I've got a replacement. 16 volts, 100 UF. 100 UF, 25 volt. Oh, yeah. 100 UF, 16 volt. Perfect. These are some cheap AliExpress capacitors. So I think it's best to test it with a multimeter first. 112. Close enough? I think so. Well, the board looks okay. At least there's a, a positive side on the board. Can it quite clear that hole? So I'm hoping the capacitor leg will just push through it. And I'm going to apply a little bit of heat to it. Put a little bit of heat on. No, it's not going. I'll pop some fresh solder in there. There we go. Clean it up. Just for good measure, I think I'll replace that 7805 
That's been in there for a while, so I'll just put a new one on. I'm not even going to test it. Just take it off and, like I say, get rid of it. I hope I've got a new one. Of course. Got 7806 and 7805. I bought these from famstore.co.uk. That's got to go under there first, hasn't it? So I'd better clean them holes up, make sure this fits, and then put both things on at the same time. There's the new one in. This needs to go back in place. I should have another little screw. There it is. So that one in there. Did the go? It went in that way. I'll put a bit of MX4 thermal paste on. They look good. Okay, what do you think? Am I going to get lucky? Is there only one way to find out? Bring the telly back on. Right, there's the TV. I don't know if you need a gaming switch on. I'm going to look away though. Oh, hang on. There's a little light to see, isn't there? There should be a little green light here. Switch on. On. No green light. Oh, I haven't have I turned it on. Turn it on. Right, well, I've got a green light. Well, that doesn't mean anything. I've still got no signal on here, but I don't know if I'm on the right channel. I'm on AV1. Oh, it's on. Look, at, welcome to the Sega Master System. To play, just follow these instructions. Turn off power. Insert card, game cartridge, into system, turn... Brilliant. Well done, Philip. So we'll turn this off. Where's my game? I've just bought Sonic. Plug that in there. Right. Hold on. I've got a controller. This is the controller that came with it. Plug that in there. Careful. I don't want any electric shocks today. My power back on. Right, have I got volume? Right, I've got volume, but it hasn't recognised that. Ah, turn off. We'll give this a clean with some IPA and a Q-tip for our American friends. That's clean as a whistle. I've only got one game. Try again. Sega. We've got some audio there. Yes. Absolutely superb. Spot on. Start. There we go. I've bought another one of these, which is working, but I haven't opened the box yet. I think I'll op put this back together and open the working one, because that's got some, supposed to have some games on it. Can you get games? I wonder if this has got a built-in game. Right, so the controller is up, down, left and right's working. That's working. And that's working, so the, the controller's working as it should. How much did I say I paid for it? I paid £25 for both controllers and the console itself. And I fixed it with just a couple of parts. It may not have needed a new 5 volt regulator, but I thought it was worth putting one on just in case. Right, so we'll switch this off and we'll put it back together. And I'll open the other one and see if the other one's working. In the meantime, while I'm doing that, I will also see if there's a built-in game that I can access on this. I'll not be long. There's a date on it, 11th of December, 1987. Right, that's back together. I don't know how to access the built-in games. I'll just ask Abby. Abby? What? How do you access the built-in games on the Sega Master System? Apparently, you press up and hold buttons 1 and 2. So we'll try that. Ready? Am I supposed to press up one and two and switch it on at the same time? Oh, I didn't press one and two. Well, I've got something. Something's different. Welcome to seeing a master system. It's a, it's a maze. Snail maze. Oh, hang on. I've gone the wrong way here. Snail maze game. Oh, how we? I need to work backwards. Time up. Oh, I didn't know I was timed. Ah, at least it works. The game is a bit rubbish, but at least it works. I'm going to put this away, and I'm going to open my other boxed one, because I haven't opened it yet. This is the other one I ordered. 
and I paid a bit more for it. I think I paid 35. I paid 40 pound in total, but it is supposed to work. Obviously, if I'd had this one first, I wouldn't have bought this one. Sega Master System, one replacement console unit, power base only. Use conditions, some scratches, safe photos, tested, fully working, tested and working, has Hang On and Safari Hunt. Also has Snail Maze game, console only. Does this not have the Super Hang On game as well? I have noticed this is 1.3, so we'll see what the, the other version has. Right, this is the other one. Right, how does that compare to the other one? Are they both the same? This is the one I've just fixed. This is nice and red. So this one's a bit this one's a bit orangey, even on the power button. Power button's nice and red on this one. So I would say this is the, the one I fixed is the nicer looking console. But like I say, this one was bought for 40 pounds in total and it should be working. So we'll turn the TV back on. We will try the control stick. With this one don't do this don't wrap the wire around like that that's just awful look what it's done terrible anyways control i want we'll try the game first pop that in right bring up the camera and switch on it helps if i switch it on at the wall and switch on it does work i've got audio and there's the game so that's working we do have audio brilliant so left and right on the stick works up yes down yes button two and button one so that sticks working so we'll switch off and we'll test the hidden games up them two and on and my snail game how do you access the super hang on do you just don't say you just switch it on without a game cartridge in you do switch it on without the game cartridge in. To start, hang on, push the right side button of the control pad. To start Safari Hunt, point the light phaser gun at the screen and... Well, I haven't got a light. I haven't got a light gun, so we'll use this one and go right. To start, hang on, push right side button of the control pad. It's not working. That's not working. I'm using the control pad. But I've worked it out. When it says the right side button of the control pad, it doesn't mean the right of the control pad. It means button two. I've got no idea why it just didn't say press button two. So Super Hang On game does work. Marvellous. Get rid of that. I think that has been a great video. We'll add Master System to there and to there. That will avoid any confusion later on. Now, what about this 7805? Why did the capacitor blow up? I've got 1.8 there, 1.7 there, 2.5, 0.8. It doesn't look like I've got any shorts. I'm not sure what they should measure. No, 1.8. We've got a new one out. I've got 1.8 across there. And on the new one, I've got 0.6, 2.5 and OL. So yeah. That is faulty, so I'm glad I replaced that. If you buy an old console and it's got a 7805 on it, you may as well just replace. Even if it's working, you may as well just replace it with the cheapest chips. Having said that, I didn't replace the one on my Spectrum 48K that I acquired, and I'm a bit ashamed. The capacitor is definitely faulty. I wonder which one blew first. So a capacitor, which is pennies, and voltage regulator, which is pennies. And that's all it took. Replaced those, and I got a working console. Perfect. So that's today's video. Came to an end. Quite an easy fix. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.